You start your day, and without lifting a finger, your unread emails are already summarized. Your top priorities? Highlighted. Your meetings? Prepped. That's not magic. It's Microsoft 365 Copilot with scheduled prompts. It's like having a digital assistant that knows your routine and delivers exactly what you need, right when you need it. No more remembering to ask Copilot. Now it remembers for you. Hey everyone, welcome to the Microsoft 365 Copilot Connection. My name is Nick Harris and I am a Senior Copilot Cloud Solution Architect with Microsoft. In today's video, we'll be exploring Microsoft 365 Copilot scheduled prompts, a brand new Microsoft 365 Copilot feature that serves up your most needed insights exactly when you need them. Imagine never forgetting to run that important email summary or obtain a task reminder because Copilot already did it for you. So first we'll navigate through how to access and enable scheduled prompts directly in your user experience. I'll also then share how to craft effective prompts that you could directly leverage within your experience and schedule as you require. And finally, we'll navigate through the admin perspective of how administrators can control scheduled prompt functionality within their Microsoft 365 Copilot environment. So starting off, in order to access and enable scheduled prompts, you have to have already submitted a prompt to Copilot that you then want to schedule. So in this case, we're just going to submit an initial prompt summarizing various emails, and then we review our results. Now, when I want to schedule this prompt, if I do validate myself that these results are accurate to what I want, and I want to receive some form of daily or weekly based reminder, as example, I can hover over the prompt and click on this little clock symbol. And this allows me to then schedule my prompt. We then have the prompt included, we can review where we want the results to go, we can then review the overall timing cadence that we want the prompt to run for. We can select daily, weekly, monthly, specific days of the week, uh, when we want this to start, as well as how many times we want this to run, up to 15 occurrences. After those 15 occurrences, I would have to reschedule this prompt to run as well. In this case, I will elect to save this, and then we have our scheduled prompt list that we can review. General note, this scheduled prompt list is always available to us. Within any Copilot chat conversation, I can click on the three ellipses at the very top of the conversation, and I can select scheduled prompts. This provides me that direct list. And if, for example, I want to manually run one of these scheduled prompts, I don't want to wait, maybe I started my day earlier, and I want to get my report earlier, I can navigate to this screen, hover over the prompt, and select Run Now. I can also turn it off if I don't want it to run the number of occurrences, and delete the prompt if I no longer need it. So very useful in relation to starting your day or ending your day, summarizing all the key information that you require, in which case you could then send it to a Copilot page and have it for knowledge use later on. What's also really cool is you can validate the fact that certain scheduled prompts have already ran. You'll notice my conversation history now has an indicator next to it. I have this little red circle. And I can open up that indicator and you'll see I have this comprehensive daily review conversation that I can then click into and validate as this was directly scheduled and provided back to me. And so here's a prompt I've ran to get my day started. I'm going to show all of you how you can directly leverage Copilot to create prompts just like this in order to move your day forward more quickly. So the prompt here that we're going to use in order to create prompts that we can run on a scheduled basis, assist me with generating a prompt that I can run on a daily basis to create time savings and value in my work. For example, the prompt could aggregate data across my work and create an industry report for me based on public knowledge. The prompt should be aligned to someone in a general business user role. General note, of course, fill in your own role so that way the contextual output from Copilot is aligned to you. So we've received an initial prompt. We could technically copy and paste this and test this out, but I want to fill in additional information based on contextual details that I provide the AI assistant. So I will have it ask me discovery questions that I can then answer and fill in that information and have Copilot revise my prompt with all of that contextual detail. So now I've reprompted, ask me discovery questions to help provide more detail and context in my prompt. Revise the original prompt that you provided me with the contextual detail for my answers. This is fantastic because now it's sort of like an interview process. I can answer the particular questions that the AI assistant provides, and it uses all of that detailed information to revise the initial prompt, giving me richer output for the prompt I want to schedule. 
So I've answered the initial discovery questions that I was provided. Here are my answers. And here is the direct output and the revised prompt that Copilot has given me back. And as you can see, it's directly taken all of my answers and aligned them into a prompt that I could then leverage. I can copy and paste this and run this directly in my Copilot chat environment, review the output, and if I like it, I can then schedule it. I highly recommend that you continue to mix and match and ask questions and add additional context to your prompt so you can continue to refine and receive that rich information to assist you with becoming more knowledgeable on the data points that you require. Now, moving on, let's go ahead and talk about how administrators can control this particular functionality. IT administrators must navigate to the Microsoft 365 Apps Administration Center. Currently on the screen, you see the Microsoft 365 Administration Center, and inside of here, I can navigate to Microsoft 365 App. This takes me to config.office.com, where I can directly control a wide variety of capabilities via policy for my Microsoft 365 app experiences. In order to control optional connected experiences, which the scheduled prompts functionality falls under, I can navigate into the customization section and policy management. Under here, I can navigate into any specific policy I have in my organization. I can create new policies or modify existing policies. In this case, we'll just quickly create a new policy I'll name this test just to show you where the optional connected experiences material is. This policy can be scoped to particular groups of users or every user within my particular tenant. In this case, I will scope this to a particular user group such as IT support and we'll click save. And underneath the actual policy configuration settings, you see there are many different policies across Microsoft 365 apps that we can directly configure. I'll search for optional. And here you see allow the use of additional optional connected experiences in Office. Inside of here, I can either enable or disable. By default, this is automatically enabled. However, there are some organizations that do disable this particular experience via the policy level. Also, general note, the optional connected experience capabilities do encompass a wide variety of capabilities across your Microsoft 365 apps, including Word, PowerPoint, Excel, OneNote, etc. So please be sure if you are going to disable this particular functionality, you understand all the core capabilities that will be disabled as well. Also, just as a brief note, each individual user can disable optional connected experiences directly via their account settings in their various Office desktop apps. And there you go. You've seen now how to schedule your own prompts, how to generate prompts to create briefings for you and get started in your day or even wrap up your day. And for IT administrators, how to manage all of these various settings and experiences. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate all the support. If you have any questions or comments in relation to the material that we just provided, please feel free to leave a comment below. If you're really excited about Copilot and you want to stay informed about all the various app updates, functionalities, walkthroughs that we provide, subscribe to the channel and share with your colleagues as well. Thank you all so much for your time and your support as always. I very much appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.